I just love eating warm bread right out of the oven. You're so lucky. Every time I eat bread, I feel so sick. I later on get diarrhea. Cheeky doesn't know that she is gluten intolerant, also known as celiac disease. It's more common than you think. Today, we will explore what celiac disease is, how it affects you, and what you can do about it. I'm Nurse Wong, and this is Book Talk. also called celiac spruce, is a genetic autoimmune disorder triggered by a reaction to gluten, mainly affecting the lining of the small intestine. This means that the body attacks the gut when gluten is present. Gluten is a group of protein found in common grains like wheat, barley, and rye. It acts like a binder that makes our bread or pizza dough stretchy and pliable. How common is celiac disease? Celiac disease affects one in every 100 people worldwide and is more prominent in females than males. This equates to about 3 million Americans, out of whom 97% of them are undiagnosed. The typical symptoms of celiac disease are after eating pasta, pizza, or any major grain product, you have foul-smelling diarrhea, bloating, loss of appetite, loose, pale, and greasy stools. Some unexpected symptoms relate to abnormal immune responses include internal organ malfunctions, abdominal pain, fatigue, anemia, skin disorders, and pregnancy complications. These symptoms are unusual, but it's important to know that they can occur. How do you find out if you have celiac disease? Gluten sensitivity can begin from six months to two years of age, but can develop at any age. Due to the complex nature and symptoms of celiac disease, I cannot emphasize how important it is to make sure you see a GI physician specializing in celiac disease since many primary care physicians are unaware of the conditions underlining it. So it's often underdiagnosed. If the classic symptoms exist, the GI physician can order blood tests to diagnose celiac disease. If a blood test is positive, then it should be followed by endoscopy with biopsy to confirm. Doctors will use a video scope to look closer at your upper GI tract through your mouth. This procedure might irritate your throat, but don't worry about it. It's a short procedure and you'll be mildly sedated. Other diagnostic tests to help solve the riddles of celiac disease include pertin blood work, thyroid function tests, bone density tests. These tests can provide a bigger picture of some of the other issues related to celiac disease. How is celiac disease treated? Currently, the most effective treatment is lifelong gluten-free diet. If the diet is not strictly followed, then relapse can occur. If you are unsure of what is truly gluten-free and what isn't, there are many free apps online that can provide you guidance. If you've eliminated gluten from your diet for more than 12 months, but you still have symptoms, you may have a rare form called refractory celiac disease affecting 1-2% to of the population. This requires specialized treatment with medications and or steroids prescribed by the GI doctor. All in all, if you suspect you have celiac disease like Cheeky, Avoid gluten for a few weeks to see if there's any improvement to your symptoms. If you really want to know for sure, go to a GI specialist as soon as you can to be tested. With growing awareness of celiac disease by doctors and patients alike, many gluten-free food products have become readily available at supermarkets and health food stores. Please like and subscribe to Butt Talks TV. I'm Nurse Wong, saying so long. If you like our video, press the like button below. Comment on what you would like to learn about next. For more tips and tricks from Butt Talks, subscribe to our channel. Have a great group.